So this is it. We are off. Ready to go. Ready to go. Packed up. Just us, our backpacks. Um, on a frosty morning after it snowed, Ooh, it's freezing. heading to 28 degree heat and thunderstorms. Ooh. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> Great for a contrast. What do you think, Sue? Huh? Are you worried? Are you scared? Uh, yeah. Just it's weird. weird. It just all feels weird. Especially like in my bedroom. It feels real. It feels real. So here we are, finally at Doha. Uh, two hours delayed. Uh, now we've got 20 minutes to get to our gate, which is A11, and we're in C. I don't even know where A11 is. For what feels like 20 minutes now. <laughs> We've only just got to B. Uh, oh, B and A. Okay, that's it. Where's it? Oh. So, yeah, see? Huge airport. Right. We'll probably be just going in another queue as well. Of course. <laughs> but I'll be happy when I'm on that plane. So yes, 23 hours since we left, and we're here. Um, everything went pretty smoothly, actually. Uh, we only had a bit of a delay on our first flight, which was very annoying, by about two hours, which meant we pretty much had to run, well, walk very fast the length of uh, Qatar Airport. But we made it, and uh, we're here now. Qatar Airport? Doha Airport. Whatever it is, Qatar Airways, I don't know. So we are about to head off to Kathu Waterfall. We are going to hire a moped for the first time, which Rowan is responsible for my life driving. Our lives. Um, our lives, yeah. True. That is a bit more. had our inaugural Hello. ride on the uh, our rented moped. The lady at the place asked me about five times if I knew how to ride one. Um, apparently I do, I are alive. <laughs> I think she was convinced that you could. I couldn't find the button to start it, I kept pressing the wrong button. She looked very concerned. Um, but it's right now, you're always a bit nervous when you do these things. Some of the reviews said there was too many tourists here. The first of many temples, I'm sure. But I'm still amazed at the moment. So, we're now at Paradise Beach. No, not quite. <laughs> well, walking to Paradise Beach. Um. <laughs> Lovely beach. <laughs> So just got back, uh, went to Paradise Beach. Um, not all that 
it used to be a massive party beach, uh, like um, full moon parties, there's a bar on the beach, like lounges and stuff. But that's not us. Uh, it was 100 baht to get in. We got a nice little drink for that and a ride back up the huge hill, so it wasn't too bad. Um, and yeah, then it started raining on the way back. Raining quite a lot, actually. We're quite soaked, to be honest. Um, but everyone did very well driving with a moped in the pissing rain. And yeah, we need to get ponchos. That's yes. a thing to buy. Yeah, we were <laughs> pretty much the only people not wearing ponchos. We definitely look like tourists, that's for sure. <laughs> Been a fantastic day, but I'm pretty knackered now. Yeah, me too. Just going to sit in our room and chill out now, I think. Um, guess which is mine. Everything comes with rice, so I want some more meat. Um, so I've got a creamy tom yum noodle soup, um, some stir fried chicken and kale, always with chilies and comes with loads of rice. And then Sue's got just some stir fried pork. And a sweet as hell iced tea, which actually came in a bag as well. Fet Cape. We think. You can see it behind us. Um, but that is the little path that leads to it. All the way down there. And we hope all the way over there. Let's find out. So, halfway to the beach, two Thai men in possibly policemen come up to us and, well, didn't really tell us to stop. We just sort of stopped. And then he showed us a picture of a bomb on his phone and said it's on the beach and then pointed us in the right direction to get to Pontet Cape so we've decided we don't want to get blown up today um, unfortunately we uh, directed someone else down there and he's now down there but they'll catch up with him and they'll probably catch up with us at Pontet Cape so it does look rather closed but we're just gonna go around it and hope for the best
park. We have got to get a couple of buses, maybe a minibus, I'm not entirely sure. Probably going to take about six hours, I think, to get there. Um, but hopefully it'll be worth the travel. Yeah, so we'll see you next video. Um, feel free to leave any comments below. Um, and we'll see you later.